Hey guys and welcome to another basic calculus video. Today's episode is on the multiplication or product rule and the quotient rule. So let's get started. So here we have the basic rules from the original function to the actual derivation I guess you could say. So here's the breakdown. So if you have two functions in terms of the same variable you're gonna want to multiply by the original functions derivative by the second function adding the original function multiplied by the derivative of the second function. Now for the quotient rule it's basically the same thing so what it will look like is the original function divided by the second function all in terms of x or the same variable so that will become the derivative of the original function by the second function subtracting by the original function and multiplying that by the derivative of the second function all over the second function's um, square. So let's go on to our first example. So here we have our first example. It's on the multiplication or product rule. So this function is x cubed multiplied by the quantity of x plus 5. So let's get started. Going back to our multiplication rule, we have two functions multiplied by each other. And here we have that, x cubed times x plus 5. So in order to do the product rule, what we're going to multiply is the derivative of the first function by the second function, adding the original function by the derivative of the second function. So let's do that. So the derivative of the first function, which is f of x is equal to x cubed. Now this is arbitrary. You can make this the g of x or you can make it the f of x. And our second function is the x plus 5. So the derivative of the first function is x cubed by 3. If you don't know how to multiply how to find the derivative of a basic function you should go ahead and watch my other videos I'll probably link that in the description so next what we're gonna wanna do is multiply by the second function so our sec second function is x plus 5 so we'll go ahead and multiply by that x plus 5 now what we do is add the original function f of x multiplied by the derivative of the second function so add the original function which is x cubed multiplied by the derivative of the second function which is g of x so g prime of x or that which would be so g prime of x would be x plus 5 the derivative of that so the x becomes a 1 because x to the 1 power minus 1 is x to the 0 power which is 1 and then the 5 goes away, so that's that's it. So now our function would be 3x squared multiplied by x plus 5 plus x cubed times 1 is just x cubed. So there we go. So going back to this, I went ahead and rewrote it as 3x squared multiplied by x plus 5 plus x cubed. Now multiplying out you get 3x cubed plus 15x squared plus x cubed. Now combining like terms you would get 4x cubed plus 15x squared. Alright now let's move on to this example. It's a quotient rule. So we have x cubed over x plus 5 going back to the rules we have f of x over g of x and our f of x will be x cubed or our f of x could be x plus 5 but let's just choose that it's arbitrary so f of x is equal to x cubed and g of x is equal to x plus 5 since our formula requires us to have the derivative and the original of both functions I went ahead and just wrote the original functions first and let's go ahead and do the derivative of the f of x function. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. If you don't know why, go ahead and watch my previous derivative video and you'll be able to figure out why. It's just a simple 
rotation and multiplication trick. Now for g of x prime, we'll have the, der the derivative of x plus 5. So the derivative of x is just 1, and the derivative of 5 is just 0, which now our function is just 1. So let's go back to the formula. So our formula calls for the derivative of f of x multiplied by g of x, subtracting by f of x multiplied by the derivative of g of x, all divided by the square of g of x, which is the second function. So the derivative of f of x is 3x squared multiplied by the second function, which is uh, g prime of x, actually g of x, so that's x plus 5, subtracting by the original function, which is x cubed, multiplied by the derivative of the second function, which is just 1. So treating these as separate entities, all divided by the second function, which is x plus 5 quantity squared. So I went ahead and simplified a little bit, multiplied out, and so we have 3x cubed plus 15x squared minus x cubed. Now you could go ahead and leave it like that, or you can subtract the x cubed by the 3x cubed, and you would get 2x cubed plus 15x squared divided by x plus 5 quantity squared.